The Twisted Tree Line is a three-on-three map that's getting a massive facelift and a lot of new gameplay. Whether you're a fan of the map or haven't tried it in a while, come check out some of my new favorite features. Champion balance is going to be a bit different when there's only three players in each team, so to make a better three-on-three -three experience, our shopkeepers come in with a new combination of items from Summoner's Rift, Dominion, and even new ones exclusive to Twisted Tree Line. These new items include unique elixirs with powerful effects, modified versions of familiar items, and brand new ones with effects you haven't seen before. Due to the smaller size of the map, we've removed Riggle's Lantern and purchasable wards, so you'll have to rely on other tricks to reveal your enemies. Instead, we've added Grezzo's Spectral Lantern, which reveals an area of the map for a short time, but with a pretty significant cooldown. Twisted Tree Line now includes two altars. Capturing one grants your entire team bonus gold on minion and monster kills. Capturing both altars will bestow a boost to your team's ability power and attack damage, giving you a significant advantage in the game. At the start of a match, both altars will be unclaimed, but after a brief delay, they'll become vulnerable to assault. Players will have to make a choice. Do they fight in lane, defend their altar, or attempt to secure another? Upon capturing an altar, your team will gain some vision around it, and the altar will lock, preventing enemies from retaking it for a few minutes. We've got even more changes coming. Let's take a look at the new and improved Twisted Treeline Jungle. We've adjusted the shape of it and moved the brush to give you more opportunities to invade and gank your enemies. Combined with the addition of a speed shrine in the middle, you can use the jungle to stalk your prey or escape what might have been a bitter demise. As we were remaking the jungle, we removed the lizard and dragon. However, we're pleased to introduce Vile Maw, the spider who doesn't care what team you're on. If you're unprepared for the fight, you're gonna have a bad time. But if you're successful in killing him, you and your teammates will be granted a buff to your damage output, as well as some golden experience. Plus, you'll have killed a big-ass spider. That's all the time we have for now, but if you're hungry for more information, check out our map update article at LeagueofLegends.com. Until next time, we'll see you on the Fields of Justice.